Hello and welcome back to LP's LP of the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Last episode, we ascended up towards the Water Temple. Complete, of course, as you might imagine, with lots of water-based obstacles as well as some peripheral chocolate syrup. Uh, this episode, we're going, I believe, to the Water Temple. Sidon here wanted us to let us know when he's ready, and buddy, I'm ready. I bet a barrel of fish that if we climb this waterfall and we shall find the source of the sludge. I'm ready, man. Right. The time has finally arrived. Off we go. Into the chocolate water, he flails. Sidon of the Zora, update adventure log. Uh, follow Sidon. <laughs> Very good. I'll do exactly that. Let's go. Oop, I almost blew right through it with Tolan. Thankfully, that's not the, the case. Goodness gracious, this is a grand waterfall. Much larger than the rather uh, shorter ones that we had just ventured through ourselves. Water Temple, the great wellspring of Hyrule. So it is indeed what I expected it was. So, like I said yesterday, I do include that whole ascension process as part of the overall dungeon experience. And goodness gracious, I think I found the source of the diarrhea. My good man, the, the temple's... The temple needs some Pepto. All right, I didn't bring it, unfortunately. Uh, there you are. I was going to say, buddy, you didn't run off already, did you? We may not, you know, we may have to stop over back at the CVS, the Walgreens, some sort of pharmacy. How magnificent. Oh, I do love chocolate. But to think that such a structure was floating in the sky above our own Zora's domain. Link, look! That surely is the source of the sludge. I am certain of it. We must do something about it. Hmm. Water. Yes. I forgot to shower. That's it. We must make it rain down upon there. Link, you see, do you not? If we could only make use of that water. God, it's grotesque, isn't it? Very viscous looking brown muck. Undoubtedly, we're going to press this. It's going to be like, sorry, not all five of those are functioning right now, but here are where you can go to, to turn them on. Warp point is there. Very good. That's going to be helpful. I mean, I say that, but then again, I have yet to leave, but whatever. <laughs> it's going to be fine. We dump one of five bases down on the sludge. It is not enough to quell the beast. Oh. Mm -hmm. Nope. It bubbles once again. But you saw it too, did you not? Using that mechanism did have an effect. There simply was not enough water. The ancestor will call out to you and say, Sidon, Call the fire department. This is the source of the pure waters of Zora's domain. Use your power to turn on the four faucets and you can collect water here. <laughs> uh, I don't mean to laugh, but something about it. Use your power to turn on the faucet. My words. Seems kind of funny. <laughs> There's only four of them, too, so we're good. It's going to be quick. Uh, it's going to be fine. It happened yet again. Only this time, I heard the voice loud and clear. The four faucets. I see. If we turn those on, we can acquire more water for the water vessels. <laughs> right. Let us get to work, Link. Together, with our powers combined, there is nothing in the world that can stop us. Okie dokie. Side on Azora. Check the map here. We got four of them. One looks to be underground. That might be the one we head to first. That seems the easiest. We come over here. There's like stairs or something. Just go on and get that. Uh, then we've got one on each. Well, one on three of the four different, like, island things around it. So, yeah, let's go off yonder just to Link's right over here. We should find the first one at least. Uh, it looks like the stairs might be uh, out of commission here. Um, I mean, that's no matter at all. We can do this. Ooh, look at this. Link is a talented lad. And fearless as well. Water Temple, Basement 1, in the Lene... Ooh, 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 okay, well... You know, Link is fearless, but... The fire doesn't necessarily work well with his organic material. What if we just run? Oh, God! Nope. 
No, uh, Sidon, you got water power, right? Can I use you? I can indeed. Very good. Very good. I should have thought of that first. We've got a floating platform there. Um, is that what we're meant to get into? It is indeed. Okay. How, how do? How do is the question. Uh, they give us a platform. The platform here actually is probably for this. There we go. Now you can come in. Uh, oh, hey, a button. The button do what? The button do... The button do absolutely nothing. Okay, great. What's down here? Oh, there's a ball. We've got a hole. The ball goes in the hole. Okay. I can do this. I can manage. Come hither. Well, hold on. Can I manage? Let's throw that all the way over there. Very good, Link. That looks like something for me. For me? For me? No, not for me. Okay, well, we'll get you. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I will have you, Chesk. I will have you momentarily, all right? You can hide. You can run. But that's not going to save you from me, son. Except maybe it will. Uh, do I have another platform? Yeah, you there. I need you to be my stepping stool. Let's get you... Right there. Hmm. Let's get you right there. Oh, get on there. Goodness me. And can I just like, shake it off? Yes, indeed. Bring it to me. Deliver upon me the goodies. I crave them. Oh, where, where's my goodies? My goodies. You can't, you can't hide the goodies from me. Attach that so I can open it. What have we gotten? Large Zonite. Hot dog. I'll take that. Let me just sit right here. And are we capable of reach? No, we are not. But we're pretty close, I'd have to imagine. So if we just take this other platform here, we want to originate it, or excuse me, center it where it originated, roughly. And that should be good enough for our purposes here. We just place this orb on top of it. We can attach it to the chest. It's a nice hideous machination. We did not attach it to the chest. I told you. I told you I want to put on the chest, and you said no. That's fine. All's well, anyways. It's going to be pretty much the same. Let me shake it off here. Get it up. We are losing battery power. I didn't realize that. Uh, thankfully, we're doing this all relatively quickly. So if we just put this one like over us, and then we'll just use ascend to get up. We'll go get the uh, the ball, and this will be done real quick. Oh, ouch! My head! What was that? You gotta turn them on first? Okay. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, put it above my head. Drop the two-ton friggin' platform above me. Goodness gracious, we don't have any time here. Can we go, 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 go! Son of a gun. Can we do it? Can we do it quickly? Quickly, quickly, quickly. Everything's about to fall. Come on, man, we can do this! Oh, it's a race against time, Link. Jump! We did it. Very good. Albeit barely, but we did it. Now throw. Okay, now grab. And insert. Very good. Right? That did something? Yes, indeed it did. It opened that. Hmm. What is this? I'm gonna... What is this, then? Let's check this out. Maybe this is what we actually need to use it for. Yeah, I don't know. This is... We're still not yet heavy enough to push this button, which is strange to me. Okay, so I have an idea. Not necessarily certain that it's what we want to do. But I'm going to, like, hold this in there. It's staying. It's in there for a solid, at this point, like, three or four seconds, which should be good enough to do what I think I should. And then we release. Of course, that goes away. But now we can get up near it and recall it. All right, you get back in there. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna grab onto that. That's not what I want. And then what? We're gonna have to use Sidon. Sidon, where is Sidon? Shoot, where is Sidon? Sidon, my boy. Sidon's outside, isn't he? Gosh darn, I gotta grab this. Sidon. Dude, where'd you go? Where the heck is the Prince of the Zoras? I kind of need you to do a thing here. 
Just like Tullin and friggin' Yonobo, I'm gonna have to blow water on... Blow water on that. Where is he at? What the heck is going on here, man? Did I... Oh, there you are, you freaking chinchilla. Why'd you disappear on me? Gosh darn it, now I gotta do this again. All right, you... There we go. Let's do this. All right, let's get up here. And then what, we swing a weapon at it? And it spins! Very good. Now let's leave. I know it's very uh, cinematic, Link. You want to watch it, but you kind of got a, <laughs> a tight deadline here. You got to get out. You're going to get trapped in here, stuck in the water yes. tub for all of eternity. There are, there, there are fates that are probably worse than that, but not many. All right, historically, water temples have been very difficult. All right, we all know of the war crimes that Ocarina of Time's water temple committed against all of us. We all have very much childhood trauma from it. But hopefully this water temple is not necessarily of the same uh, viciousness. <laughs> At least initially, it doesn't seem so. We are able to deal with that first terminal, for lack of a better word, relatively quickly. And now, I guess we'll do this one. So it's over that way. Okay, well, I guess we have to go over here anyways, too. We'll use this. Um, no, we will not. That's just going to pop. We'll go this way. There's a little water thing underneath us. Does that have anything interesting in there? Oh, it do. Oh, it do. It do indeed. You have a chest for me. You can't hide. What are you thinking, being submerged like that? I know that it's summer, but goodness gracious. What do we get for our troubles? We have a sapphire. Very good. Very good. That's a, uh, you know, one of the better ores. I think it goes amber, opal, then sapphire? Or maybe it goes amber, opal, topaz, sapphire, ruby. That sounds actually correct to me. But who knows? Either which way, it's pretty solid. Solid enough to where I am glad that we took the little bit of time we did to grab it. And this is all very easy. Goodness gracious. Platforming in a Zelda game. Who'd have thought, huh? With the low gravity, man, it is freaking seamless. It's getting me excited for Super Mario Wonder. Technically, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, excuse me. There are brothers in the game. But that'll be the big platforming adventure later on in this year. This Let's Play is probably not even going to be done by the time I start that Let's Play. It's going to be crazy. I mean... I'm no stranger to running multiple Let's Plays at a time. I think last year when I first really got my channel started, I was Let's Playing Paper Mario 64, The Legend of Zelda. It was Paper Mario, Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, Earthbound, Pokemon Legends Arceus, and then Banjo-Kazooie all at the same time. So doing two Let's Plays at a time, won't be necessarily that difficult. I mean, I was doing two Let's Plays at a time not too long ago as well with Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door and The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap happening at the same time. That was just back in like April, May, so we got very recent experience with that. Hey there, buddy. Very good. I mean, we'll have two Let's Plays going on the channel actually real soon here too because uh, Pikmin comes out uh, in, in a matter of re days, really. You can, me you can measure it in days, so... If you're, in, if you're into Pikmin, if you're into Nintendo, watch out for that. And what's more with that Let's Play? My wife, Serena, is going to be co-op Let's Playing it with me. And I'm pretty excited. We haven't done a co-op Let's Play since we played Pikmin 1 earlier this year. It'll be a great time. Uh, okay, speaking of great times, it would be a great time for me to figure out what the heck I'm doing here. There's this orb. I thought this was one of, like, the floaty devices, but this is barely floaty. Maybe it's uh, a hole presser. And now that I think about it, we probably got to wash away some of this muck, don't we, in order to find where the hole is for it. So let's take out one of our eight hydrants, turn that baby on, and then we'll ultra hand it to do some Super Mario sunshining action. Hot dog. Very good. Although it doesn't seem like we're actually getting much of anywhere in the in, as it relates to, you know, finding a home for that orb. Uh-huh. Okay. So... The orb does not belong here. Perhaps the orb goes up there. Ooh, it might go up there. I didn't realize there was a, a, a bubble producing thing just right here. Could we fuse this to one of the bubble centers, whatever you want to call it? I don't know, the little orb thing in the middle of the bubble. 
This seems kind of heavy, so I'm a little bit hesitant to trust it, but gosh darn it, what else are we going to do? There we go. That worked. Although, although I should be up there. That's going to fall, isn't it? Uh, it's going to fall in the right spot. I hope, I think, I don't know. We'll get up there. Goodness gracious. Yeah, that should fall right into the water. Okay, we're fine. I'm just going to get out here just to be proactive, you know, so I can... Yeah, oh, that's way up there. Goodness gracious. You'll be just fine. You're going to fall close to where you need to be. I could see it there in the water. Bloop. All righty, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, music. Okay, that's some exciting... Oh, it's Chews. Julius Caesar. Good night. All right, this thing. Oh, the music persists. Interesting. We're not close enough to this thing. No, no need to dive, Link. Very, very showy of you. Uh, we probably need to force this down since it kind of floats. Similar in a way to what we did in the last room where we just held it in spot for a little bit. We hold that there. That opens. Uh... Well, hold the phone. Even if that stays open, we can't get in there and use Sidon. We need to find a way to drain this water, or at least shut the water off. Maybe if we ascend up top, we'll get some sort of information here. Uh, no, I will ascend up top and learn absolutely nothing up here. But on the way up, I did notice this. We probably have to pull that and release the water. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Oh, barely me. Let's come on now. Ultra hand, slide it on up. And the water is lowering. Look at that. And the ball's there, too. Very nice. So I wonder if I release this. I mean, the water is still flowing, right? We are just draining it. Will the water fill up slowly but surely? Survey says yes. Survey says yes. Side on, side on, side on, side on, side. Done. Man, okay, uh, new idea, since you were very slow. What if we used an ice arrow to freeze the source of the water? This this is a very Zelda solution. Uh, oh, well. Okay, no, that did not work. <laughs> it forced my ball out of position, too. My ball was sitting very pretty right here. Okay, um... Take a quick scan around, make sure there's not any way we could shut off the water or anything like that. I think we are just meant to be fast. Just go real quick, like. Yeah, there's nothing else here. Okay. So do the same thing. Hold on though. Hold on. We ha we could actually do this in a, in a in a better way. If I just leave this up here for like, I don't know, 10. 20, 30 minutes, maybe? No, <laughs> less than that. Yes, the, the rest of the Let's Play, we're just going to stand here, guys, and talk. Uh, no, if I just leave this up here for a few seconds, and then I use uh, Recall, it'll hold itself up, and I can go use Sidon. So that's probably the best course of action. Sidon, you come with me. We're going to go turn this wheel, and then we'll be on. Over halfway done. Very good. Very good. That's three of five. I mean, technically, we've done two of the four, so we are exactly halfway done with the amount of them that we set out to well accomplish. But in the grand scheme of things, we're 60% done. So, you know, hey, that's nothing to shake a sneeze at or whatever the old people say. What is up with that? That's like a gob glod grod from Adventure Time. Goodness gracious. Uh, okay, uh, that's the direction we need to go, too. We need to go over there and up north. I guess we'll go to the the northernmost one first. Can we climb on all this? That'd be fun. I don't know if there's anything over here for us, since it's not like part of our, our whole spiel or whatever, our whole spigot opening procedures. But at the very least, this is going to help us get over to where we do need to be. So, hey, I'll take it, right? Hopefully we don't get pelted with some muck. No, we have we have missed or been missed. There is a chew, a fire chew, which is not at all what I would have expected in this sort of place. Can we jump that? Ooh, ooh, we're not in good spot for that. Okay, I'm gonna come back here. Oh, 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 we're falling, falling. Get up, Link. Get. 
Now where did that? Oh, we gotta we gotta recall you. Very good. I've got. Eh, let's wait till you get down to the ground. I've got experience recalling these balls of water. Bloop. Let us go, friend. Let us go. Let us go back into the air. Right there. Please don't stare. Okay, very good. Uh, is that what we need? That looks to be it. So we're going to have to find some sort of trigger, presumably up top. Or hot dog, is that a switch? It looks like an electrical thing. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, I see. I see, I see. Well, what if we... I mean, it probably wants us to put something there, but what if we, like... Shot... What if we electrocuted ourselves, threw our bow off of the side of the freaking mountain? Ugh! You come back. Oh, you come back. Come on now. Yeah, you come back. <laughs> Look out! My bow! My bow! Come on, baby! Come back home to me! There we go. Very good. Okay, let's not make the same mistake twice. In fact, let's not make any sort of ill-fated mistake again. Let's make sure we have at least 90% uh, health. Got a water wheel there. Mm -mm -mm. I see a solution to whatever this is. I don't even know that it's a problem. But I see a water wheel with stubby little flippers and a means here to extend them. By goodness gracious, I'm gonna extend. I'm gonna extend them. All right, we're gonna get the extendo, extendo flippers. Let me just get you on over here. There we go. You've been flipperized. We should probably get you started here. And go. Boom. Now what is that doing here? It's powering this. Okay. But we need to connect this electrical current with the uh, the chamber here. Is there some sort of metal sphere or cube, perhaps, up on top of the waterfall? It's going to be hard to ascend the water. Oh, we barely did it. I don't see anything. I do not see anything. I wonder. So this thing right here is just spawning there. I mean, metal is what I think of, right? Metal's conductive, but you know what else is conductive? Water. Water is very conductive. You know what I'm saying? Like, you find yourself... In a thunderstorm? That's right, you get the frig out of the pool. All right, you're gonna get killed. Uh-uh, we don't want that. Uh, I do want, however, my good friend Sidon here to blast some water at this. Very good, that's three of four. One more, ooh. Maybe, yes, there we go. As disturbing brown sludge flings about. Really, it is a mess of a place. My goodness. All right, uh, now on to the next one. Uh, I believe I know where it is. Yes, we are headed in the right direction. Just over there. Let's go this direction. I know we probably don't have to, but I see a chew existing. And frankly, I took it personally. Yes, very good. Bring me that tongue, buddy. Mm, disgusting beast. Now, because we get a chest out of there. And have we taken a photo of all of the fire chew stuff? We haven't taken a photo of the strong... Wait, wait, I didn't get that, I don't think. The strong Zonite Longsword, so hey, that's something. At the very least. What else do we got here? Uh, fire like stone. It is fire. Fire like stone. And a chest as well, which has... Mighty Construct Bow with attack of 8. That's a 32, which is good enough to fit inside our pouch. Get rid of you. You got no little extra bonuses. Everything else, uh, no, wrong sword, we're good. And descend right where the chew, or not chew, I always say chews. I confuse chews and likes. Not like an actuality, like chew chews and like likes, while they do have repetitive names or friggin' dissimilar. Look at this. This dude's adorable. I might take a nap on his forehead if he wasn't so gosh darn pissed off. The like likes? Woo, the like likes I probably stay away from in real life. You there. No. You get in the water. You get killed before you even touch the water. And you also probably gotta go too. As much as, like I said, you look comfy and cute, probably wouldn't be very happy with me. Ice fruit. Delicious. Now where is our thing? Ooh, we gotta go underwater again. Probably would make some sense to eliminate the locals real quick before we do- Oh, you wanna kill me! You wanna kill me! I see how it is! That was awful. 
You a strong bungus. No, wow, you got the itchy trigger finger. You need to get in the water. Just get in the water. Just get in the water. Thank you. Yes, that's what I thought, huh? You gonna see a stranger and you gonna poke him in the eye with some flame balls? I wanna throw you right in the water. I tell you, you need to cool off, son. You went too hot with me, too hot headed, and frankly, it's uncouth. It's very improper. All right, where are your manners? Didn't your mother ever teach you better? Apparently not. It's hard, hard to believe that the constructs had any mothers at all, really. They just had creators. A chest up there for me? There is indeed. Hello. What goodies do we have here? Mm -hmm. Large charge. Cool. Uh, so I think we need to do something with this thing. Ooh, God. Ooh, wait, hold on. Look this way for a second. Oh, that made me nauseous. Okay, take two. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, buddy. Oh, it's hard to do things when you're 30 sometimes. Come on, we can do this. Slow down. Hit that. What is that? There's something in there. What is in there? Do we need to water it? I don't know. Did we do it good? Hmm. Hmm. Wait. Wait. I, I think we did it good. I think we washed off a switch, actually. And it hit it. We did hit it. Cool. What does that mean? That means the water low is perfect. So we absolutely needed to do that. That was very difficult. That was way difficult. I may have told this story before, and it kind of relates to uh, how I was feeling there, the motion sickness. When Serena, my wife and I, lived in Denver, Colorado, uh, not too long ago, we bought season passes to Elitch's. It's like a Six Flags. And uh, yeah, we bought the season passes because it was like $40 to go one day, or $80 for a season pass. And it's like, well, you know, we live like four blocks away from this thing. We might as well just get season passes because we can just walk here whenever on the weekend. Yeah, we went the one time. We rode one ride, throwing up everywhere, <laughs> and we went home. It would seem that amusement park rides and anything generally in motion beyond like vehicles. Too much for me, too much for me. I am I'm old, man. That's it. That's all of them. We have done the things. We have unleashed liquid. Upon whatever this is. I'm very excited here, buddy. What are you going to do for us? Presumably now we fight something. It would be amazing if we finish this whole dungeon in one episode. I mean, granted, like I said in the beginning, I consider the Ascent 2 here part of the dungeon, but the actual named Water Temple, we completed that whole thing. And the boss now, because I'm starting the boss, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat the boss. It's going to happen. Unless something crazy happens, you know, my cat jumps in here and attacks me and I got to go to the hospital. Probably gonna finish this right here, right now. And the question becomes, what is it? It's a giant poop ball. Oh man! Look, the sludge dissolved. The domain is surely safe now. Huh? Not good. Yeah. Oh, what is that? It was like a... Yeah, it was like I said, it looks like a, a deformed Octorok. It's the Muck the Rock. It's just a wee little thing. Strange creature must be responsible. That doesn't look intimidating at all. Look at it. It's borderline cute, really, in a gross sort of way. Oh, wait. It's got a pet. What is that? It's got some sort of shark friend. It's inside of the friend. That's a real Get good ready. friend. All right, though, you go. ride inside the body like that. Uh... Okay, I, I couldn't help but notice that you were hideous and covered in filth. So what if I... I don't have a bow? What the heck? I'm breaking all my stuff? Give me this bow. So I couldn't help but notice that you be having nastiness on you. Okay! Okay, I couldn't help but notice that you be killing me too, but maybe you need this? Very good. Let's just... Oh no. You, 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 need, to, you need to get cleansed. There we go. Uh, let's get out a good weapon here because undoubtedly this is going to allow us to assault it. Yes! Where are you going? You get back here! You gross thing! Yeah, we're doing some good damage. Get out of here, you gross little. No! 
I'm gonna wash your hands after this, all right? You sicken me. We'll jump back into the center. We spew a whole bunch of crap around. It looks like we've upset them and entered the second phase of this fight, perhaps? We didn't, yeah, we did get them over halfway done in that first thing. Wow, look at that, okay. You, I'm sorry, Sidon, I know you're saying stuff, but I got like a, a thing going here. Okay, that, that yeah, never mind, Sidon. I, <laughs> I hate to be premature. I know I said I got a thing going on here, but apparently I just got this. What, you want me to use you? Uh, hold the phone. There we go. Now, little nasty boy. Get, 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 get. Oh, what if I hit you? Uh, well, let's use an eyeball. I don't use the keys eyeballs enough, and this dude is flying way, way agile-like, and frankly, it is going to be tough for me to hit him. Sorted that a couple of times there. Hopefully this makes it easier for me to find. There's so many things in my inventory, man. Goodness me. Eyeballs, very good. That's what we need. We only got 17. All right, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get over there. Gosh darn it, kill this hideous beast. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Is that it? If so, man. That was like a 90 second boss fight. Not bad, not bad. I mean, it was a cool fight nonetheless, but I would place it probably third as far as coolness goes comparing to the prior two boss fights that we've uh, The Muck to Rock just wasn't, I don't know, not as grand feeling as Colgara or Marbled Goma, right? Colgara, first and foremost, started off way strong. Huge, monstrous sort of insectoid dragon monster. Very cool, very grand, very large, which I guess may be skewing my perception, right? Large enemies tend to feel more special when you kill them, even if they're not super difficult which Colgara wasn't. No, I think Colgara was more difficult than Muck the Rock here, who took all of, like I said, 90 seconds. Either which way, though, I'm just glad that we crossed this hurdle and we were able to beat this dungeon, this temple, and boss all in the one episode, therefore justifying our acquisition of the Holy Kidney Bane, which, of course, we are going to go grab at the very beginning of next episode. Yes, I got to get some sort of cliffhanger, right? Otherwise, you'll never watch. Who am I kidding? You guys watch pretty much all these episodes, and I'm thankful for it. So with that said, I really hope that you enjoyed yourself. I really do. And I'll see you tomorrow.